Hello my fellow Ergo Miner, today we are going to have a look at the latest version of Gminer version 3.06 Mining Ergo. We will have a look at how to mine Ergo, how to trade Ergo aka which exchanges support it, and Ergo Mining Overclock settings and Ergo Mining Hash Rates on the latest Gminer versus T-Rex Miner. So stay tuned because this is going to be fantastic. Fabulous and expiring. Well, maybe not, but whatever, stay tuned anyway. My name is Crypto Donkey Miner. This is my face, and this is my lifelong dream. You have the power to help me achieve my lifelong dream by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. Thank you very much. How to mine Ergo. First you need a wallet, head over to ergoplatform.org. You can use any of them, I personally use Ergo Mobile as that is my preference. Next up you need Gminer at least version 3.06. If you're using Windows, head over to their GitHub page as shown here. If you're using Hiveware, simply create a flight sheet, but first create the wallet with your newly created Ergo wallet if you don't have one, and then create a flight sheet and configure your miner as you see here. There's really not much to mining Ergo, it's quite easy. Especially if you pick the mobile wallet. How to trade Ergo. It's actually super easy to trade Ergo as well as there are a lot of exchanges now supporting Ergo. Personally I use Gate.io and Hotbit, but there are of course others. I know that some in the US have problems with some of these, so choose the one that is best for you. Ergo Mining Overclock Settings Here you can see the overclock settings for the RTX 3050, RTX 3060, RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070, RTX 3070 Ti, RTX 3080 10GB and RTX 3080 12 gigs. If you disagree with these overclock settings, feel free to share yours in the comment or on the Discord channel, which will be linked in the description. You can also download my tuning tool where you can find the perfect overclock settings for your graphic card. Link in the description as well. And it is called Crypto Donkey Miner's tuning tool because I lack good names. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty shitty at names, but whatever. And if you want to increase the chance of actually mining something that is profitable, you can download Crypto Donkey Miner's GPU switch, which is a profit switch for Windows, completely free. Yes, it's also mine and a link in the description for that as well. Well, yeah, obviously it's mine or else it wouldn't have such a stupid name. Ergo Mining has rates. Here we have the fantastic results and as we can see in the Meet Max has rates, it actually jumps a little bit in Gminer. Please remember that this is the very first version of Gminer that actually supports Ergo Mining. And now talking about first version, I actually had a few bad shares which I usually don't in neither NP Miner nor T-Rex Miner, so definitely they need to fix something. But all in all, it looks like a good start. Now let's compare it to T-Rex Miner as that is the version I use myself, both for performance and stability reasons. The top results is G-Miner Mining Ergo and the bottom results T-Rex Miner Mining Ergo. Now let's have a look at the average hash rates first and clearly G-Miner is the winner throughout. Please note that all these hash rates are of course reported hash rates and I have no way of measuring the actual real hash rate. Again, looking at the average once is pretty close. Uh, Gminer uses one watt more in some cases, but overall it looks pretty good. Now where it's really interesting is the min max hash rate, right? So if we look at it, it looks like Gminer is way more stable than T-Rex Miner. That means that the minimum is actually quite higher on Gminer and that may be the reason why it has a performance gain. Now let's have a quick look at the other cards. Here it looks like to be more of the same with the exception of the RTX 3070 Ti which is doing 0.1 MHz per second better in T-Rex Miner. And I guess when it comes to average watts it depends on how they are rounding it up or down. Anyway, let's have a look at the min max memory temperatures. As you see, G minor is a lot cooler. However, that is not the real picture. That is because I've tested these on two different days. I would expect them to have about the same core and memory temperatures, but uh, well, it's a lot colder now compared to when I tested T-Rex minor. All in all, pretty nice results from both of them. Ergo mining screen and conclusion. First of all, why am I not covering the profits? Well, it's because there absolutely isn't any. 
quite recently. Ergo got stuck at a very high difficulty because of their difficulty adjustment sucking. They are now calling for the help for all miners to come and help them to actually get through this epoch so they can uh, apply a fix. The vote for the fix is going on right now and it actually looks like it will be approved. Please note that if you are watching this in the future then it may have been fixed by now and the profits may be quite good. Or maybe just not as extremely bad as it is right now. Now should you go and help Ergo to get through the very difficult epoch? Well the answer for that is I honestly don't know. That is completely up to you. Do you want to do something good for the community? Then go ahead and go help Ergo. Do you want profits? Then well the answer is no you actually should not go mine Ergo as it is right now. We have warned them for quite some time that this could happen and that the difficulty adjustment is pure hell and sucks and they did absolutely nothing about it, pretty much just ignored it. And said also sometimes that well it's by design and it's a feature. And now they are stuck with a feature that actually doesn't work. So time has been on their side and they chose to ignore it. So maybe it's best to just leave them to their own and figure it out. Now let's have a quick talk about which miner you should actually use. G-Miner is completely new. It has not been supporting Ergo Mining before G-Miner version 3.06. So should you use that? Well, again, nah, that is not really up to me to decide, but I personally will wait until they have stabilized it a bit. As I said earlier, I got a few bad shares and um, I actually don't get those in NP Miner or T-Rex Miner. And also it's not uncommon for a uh, miner to support a new algo having actually a lot of bugs. So maybe it's best to wait a version or two, but if you actually keep an eye on your miner then definitely go for it. I'll be honest and admit that it is quite impressive that they achieve these hash rates at the uh, well, their very first release, that's uh, quite good. Well done, G minor team. Now, what I don't like about it is that it actually has a fee of 2%. I find 2% way too high. I think that uh, the highest should be 1%, but at least they are actually supporting it now, so that is good. Now we just need more competition. I foresee a future where a lot of more different miners will uh, support Ergo and uh, fee price will come down. If you like the video then please help me out by clicking like and even sharing the video as it helps me out greatly. If you haven't subscribed then consider subscribing to help a kitty cat. Well, so I will find a kitty cat and put it in the microwave and it will be all your fault. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a lovely day.